Well, never a dull moment in the life of Finney. There is my truck, it's dead again. Um, so recently I've been having some troubles with it. Didn't want to fucking start. Didn't want to run right. And uh, I knew it had something to do with the fuel. Wasn't sure what though, either the fuel pump or probably the fuel filters. Um, but I said, fuck it. And I had to uh, go chop wood for somebody. So I took the truck out, got the wood, had a trailer full of wood. Halfway home, truck died. So at least now I know what's wrong with it. The fuel pump is absolute garbage, but I got a new fuel pump, got new fuel filters, and she'll be ready to go pretty soon. So that's today's task on top of cutting wood and whatever else I can think of. When it died on the side of the road, I had to call my dad to tow me back and we just took a tow strap and tied it to the back of his truck and drove it about 25 miles an hour back home. And dad almost got stuck right here in the mud hole of a Oh, look at that. That's just... Whoa. All right, trailer's cleared. We are ready for day two of wood cutting. People, some people may ask, Oh, why are you, why you got wood? Why are you burning with wood? Wood is inefficient. It's bad for the environment. You're cutting down the happy trees. And, 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 and you, gotta, you gotta put the wood in. And it, it takes a lot of work and it's heavy. And well, I've got several reasons why I'm choosing wood. Reason number one, I've got a sauna, that's wood heat. I've got a garage, that's wood heat. And I've got a, uh, a gutter garage. And can you guess what heats that? Wood. Reason two, wood is a lot cheaper than anything else. And boy, do I like being fucking cheap. You think my broke ass can afford something as fancy as propane or God forbid, um, electric heating? Fuck no. I've got a propane furnace in the other house which has no insulation in it and I had to pay a lot, a lot of money this winter. So, wood heat's cheap. Reason three, wood heat, if you get the right furnace, is actually a lot more efficient than people think it is. You can find wood boilers, exterior wood boilers, now be it you gotta go outside to fill them up, um, that are sometimes in the 90 percentile of efficiency. That ain't bad. So you get cheapness and you get efficiency. That ain't too tad. That, mm, that ain't, mm, that, 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 that's, uh, that's pretty good. And the last counter to those who say wood's too hard. You got to split it. You got to stack it. You got, there's so much of it that you have to have, especially for the hard winters up here. And especially because exterior wood boilers, you got to be outside to refill it. My answer to that, stop being a fucking pussy. Get a workout. Life ain't easy sometimes. If you want to save money, sometimes you got to, sometimes you got to sweat a little. Well, you got to sweat a little. Grow the fuck up. Fucking pussy. <laughs> fucking pussy. Pussy. Fucking pussy. Come on. Springtime in the UP. Just fucking muck. Just muck. Southern boys like to rave about the mud and stuff they get down there, but they have no idea you per snow melt. They have no idea. This has been a pretty crazy spring. Almost all the snow melted in one week, which is usually not the way it goes. So it's flooded some rivers to the point where the bridge has been underneath water. There's a river, I don't know, like 15 miles south of here that uh, the river is usually about 30 or 40 feet below the bridge, but this snow melt came in so hard that it, uh, it flooded that bridge over and the kids at the school got to, got to get off early so they could get across the bridge before, <laughs> before, it, before it completely flooded over. This here's the rich folks' home. Painted house. They chose propane. They have an actual nice lawnmower. They have a side-by-side -side and a four-wheeler, both of which runs. And my dad's got a nice truck. Living large. Living fucking large. Someday I'll be rich. They're so rich they bought a treadmill and they don't even use it because they know they can just get away with spending that kind of money. Oh, man. Did you look at this truck? It's got extendable rear view mirrors. It's got, oh, let's see, it's got a, it's got a heater and AC blower that actually works. It's even got a rear view mirror. Jeez. How nice. And look at this. 
blinkers. Can you believe it? He's even got a car wash token. Can you imagine being wealthy enough to where you can pay a machine to wash your vehicle for you? Holy wow. Putting some of the old creamy white on the on the skin to help from that, that terrible, terrible sun radiation that makes you have cancer and stuff. Yesterday, yesterday forgot to put fucking sunscreen on and now I'm all fucking burnt to a crisp because greasy me wore a wife beater, you know. But uh, if you're ever if you're ever out doing arduous labor, is that the word? I don't know. That's what I'm gonna say. Arduous. Um, and you gotta put sunscreen on. You put your sunscreen on, and then later on you're like, ah shit, I gotta put more on. I gotta reapply. Um, here's a tip so you don't gotta bring your giant bottle with you. Take a little sunscreen, right? And you pack it into your lip like a cha. And then later on. Later on, when you're out there and you're working and you're like, oh shit, I got to put sunscreen back on. You just, and there you go. Reapply and you can keep working. Here's another tip. If you got a chainsaw and you just, you just took the blade off to uh, sharpen it, there is actually a right and wrong way. You can put this on backwards and believe it or not, it will not cut if you put it on backwards. Um, and of course I have two chainsaws and when I put it on, I put both of them on backwards because I'm a fucking dumbass. Uh, so yeah, don't be a dumbass like me. Um, don't get slapped in the face by common sense. Be a smart man. Oh my God. Can you shut the fuck up? Just saw somebody using a leaf blower to blow dirt off their lawn. Imagine being so fucking rich, so fucking wealthy, that all you gotta do, all your chore for the day, is to blow dirt. <laughs> Fuck, it must be nice to be rich. I wish I could blow dirt. Is that Steve? Is that fucking Steve? That wasn't Steve. Most people don't know this, but mosquito dunks are not only able to be used in water, you can also eat them, and um, your insect repellent will last for 30 days, the same amount of time it uses for water treatment. So just a note, if you want to save money on insect repellent, just buy yourself some mosquito dunks and save your time <laughs> for your health. Hi, and welcome to William's Food Review. Today I have a fruit, fruit strap, five juicy flavors. Let's give it a try. This seems to be a green, green color. Uh, I would assume it's, it's lime or something along those lines. They come with tattoos. I would give this gum a one out of five tomatoes. Thank you for watching William's Food Review, and I'll see you next time. Before you go out to cut wood, always remember to tie your boots. If you don't, the saw will just shoot all the wood, all the wood right inside of your boot, and then you'll be walking around with sawdust in your shoes all day, and that ain't no fun. Because remember... God gave us fingers for more than picking our noses and scratching our assholes. He also gave them to us for tying our shoes.
I would have given you a piece of gum, but I just ate it all. Sorry. Remember, boys, easy living ain't cheap. And cheap living ain't easy. <laughs> I've got wood. <laughs> Driver door ajar? Nope, still a door. Fucking dumbass truck. Oh man, imagine life without a truck. Boy, I wouldn't be alive without a living, I tell you what. I mean, I didn't have a truck. I was gonna pull wood. Huh? I was gonna load wood in the back truck. Couldn't. Wouldn't have a truck. Howdy, hey, I brought your truck back. Got the keys right here. I'll put it up on here on the hook. I uh, did a good job. Got all the wood. Well, I got most of it. All right, well, have a good one. See you later, bye. The Uper AC? Oh, yeah, that's when your butt-ass naked hanging on to the hood of the truck going down the road high on meth. Well, I told myself I was going to be done today, but here I am again. I was just going to go inside and drink some beer and come back outside and chill in my hammock. But I went inside, cooled off, drank a beer, realized, you know what? This is the nicest day the UP is going to get for this entire year. So I might as well take advantage of it. All right, let's get high on some gas fumes. People always say, oh, they don't make them like they used to. Oh, they don't make them like they used to. Everything's crap nowadays. Well, guess what? It was crap back then, too, at least in the 1980s, specifically with these fucking Fords. The most dog shit, retarded fucking machine I have ever worked on. Now, I don't have too much experience, but I have enough to know that you could make it a lot better than this, and people fucking did. And this Ford, when I went, I'm telling you, when I went to fucking change the alternator on this, I thought it had a bad alternator. Thank God it didn't. Because when I went to O'Reilly's, 36 different alternators for this year truck. 36. 30, and guess what? None of them were the right alternator. So thank fucking God mine still works, eh? So I've got fuel on my back. I've got fuel in my nose. Getting high off the gas, and it's not the last time I ever will. And I got these clips here, and they ain't wanting to come off. This one specifically just does not want to budge. Because in the 1980s, they went, We got this new thing, it's called plastic. We should put it on fucking everything. Oh, yeah, that was a good idea, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Fruits of your labor and all that. Fucking God damn it. So I don't fucking know what I'm going to do here. I could, I could just try to crank it off, but you know what? I got a flathead. And I got some muscle, and I bet you, with a little bit of, little bit of elbow grease, I might be able to get the fucker off. Oh, and here comes the fucking cavalry! Hola, muchacho! Hey, guess what? My Ford sucks. <laughs> Nah, wherever you want. There should be room up there yeah, next to my Toyota. That lawn's all muddy. Oh, yeah, it's fucked. Yeah, don't park there. You'll mess up the beautiful paint on your truck. Yeah. Bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> well, my truck just jizzed gasoline all over me. But, I am done now. So, let's... Oh, fuck! She's peeing more. Golden shower from the F1 shitty. Well, it is time to get drunk. See you boys later.